everyone. Welcome back to Wig Studio One. My name is Christy. I'm Wigging with Christy. I'm one of the reviewers here for Wig Studio One. Down below is a link to my channel and how you can subscribe to me. Today I'm doing a video for you on a wig called Envious by Renee of Paris. I've done a review on this wig a couple years ago actually. Today I'm showing Envious to you actually in the color Sunkiss. And I've showed this color on a different style, uh, the Sassy wig. But this is a beach wave style and I just want to thank Wig Studio One for sending me the wig to provide content for you and I'm going to talk to you about how I showcase this in our Facebook group. So let's go ahead and dive into this review. All right, so Envious, like I said, I've reviewed this before. This particular wig I did as a part of our education nights in our Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. So if you go back in our group and search for February 2nd, 2022, wigs, wig talk tips and education, I showed this, re this wig and what to do with this right out of the box when you receive it to make a wig your own. I thought this was a great piece to do this on because this is an affordable line by Renee of Paris. It, has kind of a dense part and it's a wavy style so you you know what do you do with those waves and maybe the lace front on it this is from the renee of paris orchid collection which is more of an affordable line and is a great piece and there's some things that i really really like about this and also some things that keep the price point down so what are some things that i did on this live uh you'll want to go check it out but so usually when I do a review, it's right out of the box, but this one isn't. I uh, plucked a little bit of the hairline. It's not that wide of a lace part, which I'll show you inside the cap. It's their U parts. So they're shorter and very narrow, but I did pluck a little bit. I applied concealer on the bottom, underside and the top. And I actually applied some concealer to the lace front. I noticed that this lace front is a little darker and I think it's just like on this color, maybe select colors, because there was another color from this style that we gave away, it was the Royal Emerald. And that lace front didn't look as dark as this one, which shockingly, because those roots were a lot darker on that color. To soften that lace front, if it's a little dark, I recommend some powder, some concealer, some foundation. Last resort is to trim that. So I kind of showed that. I also showcased texture spray, with the Seneca Sea Salt Spray and the Tressalore Wig Wax Spray, and then how to comb that out when you're done, very gently. So this is not right out of the box review, so which typically I do all my reviews right out of the box. But, so I have to get that disclosure that this is not right out of the box, there's been some things done to this piece. She's a beautiful piece. I like it because it is low density. There is no permatease in this piece at all, except a little bit right here in this crown. Okay, other than that, there's no permatease in the ear tabs, there's none in the nape, there's none here in the sides, nowhere. Okay, so just a little bit in that crown section. This reminds me of the Beltrass Caliente wig. Let's go ahead and do a spin. We'll take a look at this outside, we'll do some styling, and we'll do some final thoughts. All right, so let's take a look first at this Sun Kiss color. This color is a medium brown base with a blend of strawberry blonde and golden blonde highlights. So for this cap construction, we have a lace front and a mini U part. You can see where I put that concealer on during the live in the Wig Studio One group during my wig talk tips and education night. I showed how this right out of the box and what to do with it on February 2nd. So you can go back and search in the group for the February 2nd live video of that to see that demonstrated. 
The nape is a lace extended nape with the pull bra strap adjusters. So this fit is definitely no larger than a 22 and a half inch head. Let's go ahead and put this back on. So what do you guys think of this MVS? I actually really like this piece and I kind of like this piece in this color a lot. It's a warm color, uh, great for those that are brunettes but want to have a little bit of blonde but don't want to be too cool of a color but want a warmth. I love this color on this style. I think it looks fantastic. Like I said, this, this color, this wig reminds me of the Caliente by Renee Paris, just a more affordable line. Obviously, Caliente has a little bit nicer features, right, with the wider lace part, and it's a left side part, Caliente, and a little bit better lace front. But this is a great affordable piece for those that are looking for a beach wave uh, wig and more in a budget friendly, low density. I think this is a great option for many. Let us know down below what you guys thought of Envious and this color Sun Kiss and the things that we've done to this piece. I'm Christy, I'm Wigging with Christy on Instagram and on YouTube. I'd love to have your support over on my channel. Don't forget to check out Wig Studio One. Down below is a link to this piece as well as our social media accounts and how you can connect with us. From all of us at Wig Studio One, we hope you have a great day and a blessed week. See you next time, bye.